Prime Minister Narendra Modi today spoke to the Indian cricket team on the phone to congratulate the players for their T20 World Cup win against South Africa. The Prime Minister thanked coach Rahul Dravid, whose two-and-a-half-year-long tenure as Team India's head coach came to a close after yesterday's match, for his contribution to Indian cricket. Under Rahul Dravid's guidance, India's 11-year ICC title drought ended with their triumph in yesterday's match. Rahul Dravid's incredible coaching journey has shaped the success of Indian cricket. His unwavering dedication, strategic insights, and nurturing the right talent have transformed the team. India is grateful to him for his contributions and for inspiring generations. Prime Minister Modi congratulated Rohit Sharma for his splendid captaincy and praised Virat Kohli for his performance in the final match. Both Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma announced their T20I retirements yesterday. While Kohli announced his retirement minutes after the triumph, India captain Rohit Sharma announced it in the official post-match press conference. PM Modi also praised Hardik Pandya for his final over and Surakumar Yadav for his splendid catch on the boundary line to dismiss David Miller. Home Minister Amit Shah also called Rahul Dravid and Rohit Sharma to congratulate them on the win. In a video message, PM Modi yesterday had said that the team won the World Cup and also the hearts of cores of Indians. The country witnessed euphoric celebrations last evening as Team India won the T20 World Cup, with fans flooding the streets carrying the tricolor in their hands. Social media was flooded with congratulatory messages and images of celebratory scenes as India edged past South Africa by seven runs in the final match of T20 World Cup 2024 at the Kensington Oval, Barbados to clinch an ICC title after 11 years. Rohit Sharma went flat on his belly, with his head down. He slapped his hands on the turf about five times, and then shook his head before getting up. There was a tear or two from the Indian captain, as well, before the support staff and a few of the players ran to congratulate him. For the past two years, Rohit kept reiterating that his men deserved a moment in the sun, and they did come close, in the WTC final last year and in the 2023 ODI World Cup in November. Despite the heartbreaks, Rohit remained positive and strong, determined to lead India to a deserving title win and it eventually came on June 29 in Barbados, after a seven-run victory against South Africa in the T20 World Cup final. Heinrich Klaassen threatened to single-handedly chase it down for South Africa when he leveled the equation to 25 off 25 after 23 ball 50, the fastest ever by a batter in a T20 World Cup final. However, India bounced back after Hardik Pandya picked up three wickets in his final two overs, while Jasper Bumrah snared another to help the men in blue win their second T20 World Cup title and first in 17 years. Following the win, Rohit could not hold back his emotions and he was left tearful before being comforted by Virat Kohli and the rest of the teammates as the players broke into jubilant celebrations at the Kensington Oval in Bridgetown. Rohit then walked to the Indian dugout to meet his wife Ritika and daughter Samara and the family shared an emotional moment, with the Indian captain still in tears. However, the most viral moment came later when Rohit walked to the center of the pitch and pulled off a Novak Djokovic as he plucked a grass off the track and ate it. Just like the Serb celebrated after each of his seven wins at Wimbledon, Djokovic first did it as part of post-match celebrations following his win against Rafael Nadal at the SW19 13 years back. Later in an interview in 2018, he explained, It's a little tradition, obviously. As a kid I was dreaming of winning Wimbledon. So, like every child, you dream of doing something crazy when you actually achieve it. If you achieve it, and that was one of the things.